Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing on this brand new Farberware Dual Brew Coffee Maker from Walmart. This first video I'm doing is gonna be an unboxing, then I'm gonna do a video on how to set it up. So if you just unbox it, setting it up for the first time, then I'm gonna do a detailed video where I'm actually gonna make a pot of coffee and brew a K-cup. So this thing is $80 at Walmart. Model number is FW61100042831. So the first thing you're going to know is this box is big. Okay, so we open it up. The manual is right there. Okay, so I just took it out of the box. It's got a glass carafe. We're going to open it up. Got some cardboard to make sure to remove here. Okay, so this thing looks really nice. So it was missing this. This was stuck to the bag. There's a plastic bag that goes around it and it was stuck to that. So I thought it didn't come with it. So I had to kind of go look for that. It's got a touch screen. Again, this is a glass carafe, 12 cups. This has got a warming plate. So it's going to keep your coffee warm. It's a, looks like a number four cone filter. And then over here, we got to push this. And this is where you're going to do your K-cups. But it also comes with a reusable filter that you can use your own coffee grounds. So I'm going to be doing, in my next video, I'll be doing a bunch of those. Let's go around here. You're going to put the, there's the brew head. There's where the water goes. I don't see that you can add a water filter. We got, we can see how much water we put on the coffee maker side. No cord storage, two prong cord. This is the, this is the water reservoir. Or this, you're probably gonna put in whatever water you wanna brew each time. That's usually what that is. So this is the, the single serve side. There's the drip tray. It says it holds a seven inch travel mug. I like this drip tray. It seems pretty practical. Easy to clean up. Okay, so here's the bottom. It's got two rubber feet. It's got the Walmart symbol on it. it says it's... There's the model number. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1000 watts. Let's go over dimensions, so left to right, it's about 13 and a half inches. Front to back's about eight and a half inches. I measure the cord, it's 26 inches long. So unfortunately this will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. Kitchen cabinets are usually about 19 inches from your countertop. So with this big coffee maker lid open, it's almost 21 and a half inches tall. Yeah, maybe even taller than that, 22, 22 and a quarter with this. Cake up side's not very tall. It's the coffee maker side. You are gonna have to open it up all the way because you gotta be able to pour the water in, in the back. Okay, so here over here on the cake up side, there's our top needle. This is our cake up holder. There's a needle down there. It's gonna poke the bottom of the cake up. And then when we wanna do our own coffee grounds, we've got this. And it's gonna fit in there like that. This will remember this has got like a push to open. Again, over here on the coffee, this is your brew basket. You're gonna, you have to put a reusable filter in here or a, or a paper filter, a number four cone filter. It's got that pause brewing with that plunger. And again, this is what the craft looks like. It's got a hinged lid and it comes off pretty easy. Looks pretty nice. Overall, it's got a nice appearance. Again, this is going to be touch screen. So the display looks really nice. Um, it's got a power button. You press it and you can turn it off again by just holding the power button. Turns the display off. But that's a very nice backlit display. Looks like we've got capsule. I'm not, I'm not going to play around with it too much, but these are all Ground, one to four cup, 
program auto. Yeah, it is programmable. You can program this to make a cup of coffee in the morning. So the display looks really nice. This Farberware looks really nice. This looks very modern and contemporary. It's just kind of a bigger coffee maker. And here's that um, capsule for putting your own, your own coffee grounds in. The max line is way down there. So don't think you can fill this all the way up with coffee. It's way down there. That is, that's kind of like a plastic screen. Maybe a metal screen. I'm not quite sure, but it's really thin. Comes with a pretty thick manual. Looks like it's, oh, it's got some pictures. Yeah, looks like a very nice manual. How to brew. And again, my next video is we're going to set this up. I'm going to show you how to set it up for the, er, for the first use. Before first use is what we're going to do. And then I'll be doing a detailed video, how to make coffee, how does the coffee taste. And I'll also be doing a descale video. I'm going to show you how to descale this after you've been using it for a while. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.